As promised in my last video, going out for a drive today in Ajijic, Mexico. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. First stop here is going to be at Walmart. Let's see how many people are here. Usually this parking lot, and oh, by the way, this is uh, Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Usually the parking lot is jam-packed full and people are scrambling to get carts there while well, there's still carts left. Not very many people here today at all. I do want to show you something up here. Talking about social distancing, right up here I see, and I counted, 11 people waiting for the bus, all huddled together. Now, maybe they're going to be on the same bus when they get together on the bus, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any awareness of social distancing in that group of 11 people. I am on an essential trip today. Uh, my electric bill is due, and I tried paying it online, but they're not accepting a U.S. credit card, and my, as we've learned before, Bankomer card is expired. Um, I did make a decision right here. That's the HSBC straight across the street. I haven't been in there since I made a video about them ripping me off on the exchange rate almost a year ago. But I decided to go in there for two reasons. First of all, there's nobody in there. This is me uh, getting my face mask up, making sure I have my hand sanitizer in my pocket. A couple of people did come in while I was getting my money and they respectfully kept their distance and they both had masks on. I was told, and it seems to be true, that if you deny or don't accept the first offer of an exchange rate there and just say no, they give you a different exchange rate. And as a matter of fact, I got slightly higher than what I looked at as the mid-market rate as I sat there in the van looking at the uh, xe.com for the exchange rate on my phone. Are you going to have a nap? Huh? We'll have a good nap, okay? Yes. What time should I wake you up? In 10 minutes. <laughs> In 10 minutes? <laughs> right. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hey, I wanted to let you know I've invented a new year. <laughs> Hi, friends. I wanted to let you know that I have invented a new word. And I want you to remember that I said it and you heard it here first. You've heard of bitcoins and cryptocurrency, right? Well, for the new world order, Craptocurrency. <laughs> I started to say that uh, this is an essential trip out for me today. I am going to drive all the way to the other end of town to an OXO. That's a convenience store. I asked a guy one time, uh, a Spanish friend, when I was first down here, how do you pronounce that O-X-X-O? And he looked at me and said, we just say 7-Eleven. <laughs> That's the same guy that uh, when I met him in a restaurant, elbow to elbow, he said uh, in perfect English, um, I see that you're looking at a list of rental houses. Could we share that? And I said something to him in Spanish and he looked me in the eye and said, have you tried German? He became a great friend, and he's an interesting guy, retired federal officer, and um, used to be down in Panama as a federale inspecting ships before they left uh, with their cargo for Mexico. 
And then he worked in a prison in Chihuahua. And um, anyway, Luis, really interesting guy. We're driving through um, La Floresta here, and you see all those concrete things on the side? I don't know if I talked about this the last time I drove out here, but on the other side of the concrete things now is the cyclopista where the bicycles go, and they've made sure that the cars can't go there now. Now they've planted these big trees there in each of those, or not each of them, but every third one. And it's going to be a problem when they grow. Maybe. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to the OXO out there and pay my electric bill. As you can see, there's a new surfacing of the highway here, and I haven't been to Chapala, but apparently it goes all the way from Chapala to Hokotepec, and I have been out to Hokotepec and back, and um, it uh, is very, very nice, and so far, there are no topis, speed bumps, all the way to Hoko. I counted those one time a few years ago, and they're between my house here in Ahihik and Hokotepec, there were 23 speed bumps. Kind of a pain. Anyway, um, with regard to people from Guadalajara coming down here to Lakeside, I have read in the Guadalajara Reporter that they have uh, checkpoints with the police in hazmat suits north of Chapala and no one coming south to the lake can is permitted to come if they have a temperature they're taking their temperature or if they can't present some proof that they have a residence down here a lot of Guadalajarans do have a weekend place down here um, matter of fact uh, last night some of my neighbors were in residence from Guadalajara and singing till three in the morning, but that's another story. Also, there are apparently checkpoints by the police and the Red Cross in their hazmat suits taking people's temperature out here by the Piedras Barrendas, which is, well, we call them the fish restaurants out there by San Juan. Um, and at the uh, southern end of the Libramento also, although that's by Walmart and I didn't see it, but it's good to know that um, the powers that be are taking some precautions against uh, a lot of people coming down from Guadalajara. And it is Easter weekend, so normally there would be a great deal of traffic here. Uh, this little stretch right here would be bumper to bumper going the other way back towards town. Uh, oh, here's this little place right here. There's a grocery store there and a bunch of people standing out in front of it. I'll get a picture of it on the way back. The latest figures, uh, this is April 13th that I am reading this for COVID-19 cases in Mexico, about 4,700 cases, 1,700 recovered, and 296 deaths. I don't think we're going to dodge the bullet here. I think there's probably a lot more uh, cases than is being reported just because I don't think they're doing testing. But so far, so good. Um, still, nobody that I know is sick. Nobody that, um, friends who have lots of Mexican relatives uh, know anyone that's sick. So, that's all good news here in Mexico so far. This used to be a Pemex station, but Mexico, about a year ago, opened up the gas business to other international companies, it's now a BP, British Petroleum. And here's where I'm going to pay my electric bill. A guy with a mask 
opened the door for me so that I didn't have to touch the door handle. Um, so really the only thing I touched there was my change and of course my um, half of the electric bill when she handed it back to me after stapling my receipt to it. And I washed my hands with sanitizer. So, had my mask on, of course. Hopefully I'll be okay. Decided that I'd get some gas while I'm here. Both of the attendants were wearing masks and Somebody the other day said you should uh, always be careful to wash the gas pump handle, da-da-da-da-da. Well, you don't pump your own gas in Mexico, so that's not a problem here. So I touched nothing there. The guy who pumped my gas touched my money, but that was the only possible exchange from me to him, not from him to me. I'm going to stop down here at that grocery store, at least pull off the road and show you what I saw. I think this little store has put a limit on how many people can be in the store at one time. But I count nine people standing in a huddle waiting to get in. Kind of defeats the purpose, don't you think? Let's drop down into the neighborhood on our way back and see what's happening down here by Seis Esquinas, Six Corners. We're now going back east on Ocampo. This would be Danza del Sol, a big hotel complex on the left. Usually these streets are full of a lot of pedestrians and traffic going both ways. Town is pretty dead. Ocampo goes all the way through the city of Ajajic and uh, at Cologne, which is the city center, like Main Street, uh, north-south from the Caratara to the lake. Um, at Cologne, Ocampo changes to Constitucion and continues as Constitucion until you get to La Floresta, at which time it turns into the street named Camino, Re Camino de Real, and continues on all the way into Riberas, where you have to go back up to the carretera, the highway, to uh, take the one road that gets you on into Chapala. Well, a bunch of people in there, young people, um, Oh yeah, oh, well you didn't see it, but over there to the right are about a dozen young men sitting on the corner drinking beer. It is a Saturday afternoon. I don't have a problem with them drinking beer. I have a problem with them all huddled together drinking beer during the time when you're supposed to be socially isolating yourselves. You see colored tissue paper on strings hanging across the street there. Different colors mean different things. Uh, those are red, white, and green, which are the Mexican flag colors for Independence Day, So, which is the 16th of September. They're about six months out of date. Uh, blue and white's usually for the Virgin Mary, black for death or funerals, etc. This is Six Corners, Seis Esquinas, which I've never figured out because five streets meet here. I can't find Six Corners. That was a bicycle shop back there that was open with a bunch of guys in it. It's apparently a bicycle shop is now an essential business. And we just passed Seguro Poplar on the uh, right there. It was a clinic. And curiously enough, it was closed. This is very strange to me. I've been up and down this street many times in all these years, and it's never been like this without people. Always people coming and going, walking, driving. 
There are lots of little stores around here, which reminds me of comments I keep getting about, oh, what are you going to do when uh, Walmart closes? Or um, one of them said, uh, our Walmart here in, I forget what American city it was in the U.S., but uh, our Walmart was great to begin with, and now it's two weeks uh, to get a delivery. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem here, but even if it is, we have a sort of different advantage here in that on every block, there's a little grocery store, a one-room grocery store with fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, uh, all of the essentials, and every block has one because that's how people who don't have cars go shopping. They do it two ways. They take the bus and they go to the Big Tiangas, either in Hokotepec, Ahihik, or Chapala, and they do that one day a week on the bus. Or they just run down to the end of the block at the farthest, the middle of the block, and get fresh tomatoes or uh, tortillas for the day or whatever it is that they're going to eat that day. That will be the way that Lynn and I eat if Walmart closes or deliveries get two weeks out. I have to say again, I just, um, I'm... I'm blown away by how few people there are on the street. Um, it's not evening yet, of course, but in the evenings there would be families sitting out here on the sidewalk enjoying the, enjoying the outside air, outside the house. There's just nobody here. My favorite um, veterinary there on the left. Everything's closed up. Except for the little uh, 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 Averotes. There's one right over there. A uh, little hole-in-the-wall, one-room grocery stores. Um, the Chameleon Cantina there on the right. I went in there my first night in Ahihik after having paid a mordida to a, an officer and I got laughed at for paying way too much. That was 20 years ago, never mind. Uh, the main church on the right and now we're going down towards the plaza in Ahihik. The pharmacy open there on the left, nothing else. Oh, they have yellow caution tape wrapped around the plaza so that nobody will go to the plaza. Another little grocery store there on the left. Usually there's uh, fruit vendors and hamburger and hot dog vendors out here and streets full of cars and there's the bank on the left that hasn't been open for me to get my card renewed. That's the police station uh, ahead on the right. I better hurry up past here. I'm over 60 and I'm not supposed to be out of my house. Here's a street stand selling sopas and tacos. Another grocery store. See, one every block. Another one on the right. Another one on the left. Friends used to live there. They had an elevator and a swimming pool indoors. Well, I'm gonna turn here and go back up to the highway. This is approaching Cologne, the main street. So two blocks to the right is the lake. Two blocks to the left is the end of town, up the hill. That's Cologne. 
Uh, restaurants here are takeout or delivery only. Grocery store. Another grocery store on the left. Uh, the big blue building is uh, Priest of the Paint Store, another OXO. Meat Market on the right. Uh, Ahihi Clinic here on the left. Hospital, it's a hospital. My coffee guy there in the red truck, always buy from him. Guadalajara Pharmacy here on the right, 24 hours a day open. Doña's Donuts on the left. The hiking club meets there. Lopez, uh, Ferretaria, um, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble with my English. Hardware store. Gas station, it's still a Pemex. More hardware stores and more paint stores. Uh, telephone company on the left. Uh, Plaza Bougainvilleas on the right. That's a movie theater, grocery store, restaurant. And on the right is the bull ring. They don't do bullfights, but they do have rodeos and uh, oh, the, the globos. Uh, the hot air balloons go up from there. And uh, the Municipal Auditorium. Go back and find one of my videos about this little uh, cafe here on the right. It used to belong to Perry Marsh, the killer dude. That's quite a story. And we're entering La Floresta. I sure am loving this new road surface. It is so smooth. The marriage of the trees that I spoke about a couple of videos ago when I did go into Walmart. Hey, thanks for going for a ride with me today. I don't know what we'll do next, but it'll be fun. Thanks for watching. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.